The human brain is often compared to a supercomputer, but even the most advanced neural networks have limitations. What ultimately constrains our cognitive capacity? Why can't we remember everything, solve complex equations instantly, or process infinite streams of information at once? The answer lies in the fundamental biology of our neurons, the limitations of energy supply and the bottlenecks in how we store and retrieve information First, let's consider the speed of neural processing. Unlike silicon-based computers, which transmit electrical signals at nearly the speed of light, neurons communicate via electrochemical signals that travel at a mere 1 to 120 meters per second. Uh, this means that even though the brain operates with astonishing efficiency, processing about 10 to the power of 16 operations per second, it is still orders of magnitude slower than modern microprocessors. Additionally, neurons do not fire continuously. They operate in cycles of excitation and inhibition, meaning that the brain has to prioritize and filter out most of the sensory information it receives. Another major constraint is memory. The brain has around 86 billion neurons, each capable of forming thousands of connections, leading to a theoretical storage capacity in the petabyte range. However, not all memories are stored permanently, and retrieval is not perfect. The brain's memory system is not like a hard drive, it is associative, meaning that information is stored in overlapping networks rather than in discrete locations. This allows for creativity and flexible thinking, but also results in forgetting and interference between similar memories. Have you ever struggled to recall a name or where you put your keys? That's because your brain is constantly reorganizing and pruning connections to optimize efficiency. Then there's the issue of energy. The brain consumes about 20% of the body's total energy, despite being only 2% of its mass. Every thought, decision, and memory retrieval requires glucose and oxygen, and there's a biological trade-off between energy efficiency and cognitive ability. If the brain had unlimited energy, perhaps we could think faster or store more information, but evolution has optimized it for survival, not for unlimited intellectual power. This is why cognitive fatigue sets in after intense concentration. Our neurons literally run low on resources. Another fundamental limit is attention. The brain can process a vast amount of sensory data, but our conscious awareness is limited to about seven plus two pieces of information at a time, a constraint known as Miller's Law. This is why multitasking is inefficient. When we try to juggle multiple tasks, we are actually switching between them, which takes time and cognitive effort. But the brain uses mechanisms like the prefrontal cortex to focus on relevant information while filtering out distractions, but this system has limits. Have you ever tried listening to two conversations at once? It quickly becomes overwhelming. What about intelligence? While IQ and cognitive ability are partially genetic, they are also shaped by experience, learning, and neuroplasticity. The brain can rewire itself in response to new information, but there are limits to how much it can adapt. Additionally, cognitive biases, emotional influences, and heuristics constrain our ability to think rationally. Even the smartest individuals fall prey to cognitive illusions, overconfidence, and decision-making errors. <laughs> so, could we ever surpass these limits? Brain-computer interfaces, neural implants, and AI augmentation are pushing the boundaries of human cognition, but even these technologies must work within the constraints of biology. While we may one day enhance memory, increase processing speed, or expand attention spans, the fundamental physics of information processing and energy consumption will always impose some limitations. So... <laughs> If we compare the brain to a computer, it's less like a high-speed processor and more like an incredibly complex parallel processing network optimized for adaptability, learning, and pattern recognition. Its limitations are not flaws but trade-offs that have allowed humans to evolve as the most cognitively advanced species on Earth. But what if we could remove those constraints? Could AI-based neural augmentation give us perfect memory? Could quantum computing unlock new levels of intelligence? Or will the laws of physics always impose an upper ceiling on human cognitive capacity? The human brain contains 86 billion neurons connected by trillions of synapses, yet it operates under biological constraints that limit processing speed and memory capacity. 
Neurons transmit signals at a maximum speed of 120 meters per second, much slower than modern computer processors. The brain also prioritizes energy efficiency, consuming only 20 watts of power, which limits how much information can be processed simultaneously. Cognitive overload, aging, and neurodegenerative diseases further impact brain function, setting a hard cap on human intelligence. A person solving a complex math problem might take minutes, whereas a computer algorithm can do it in milliseconds. The brain is like a low-power supercomputer, capable of deep insights, but constrained by biological um, energy limits. Uh, The brain does not store raw data like a hard drive, but instead compresses useful patterns and associations the hippocampus responsible for memory, filters out irrelevant information, discarding details that do not seem important. Forgetting is a biological necessity as the brain would become overwhelmed by excessive data. However, emotional memories and repeated experiences are more deeply embedded through long-term potentiation, strengthening neural connections over time. A person may remember a childhood vacation vividly but forget what they ate for lunch last Tuesday because the brain prioritizes meaningful events. Memory is like a limited capacity cloud storage system. Important data is kept while unneeded files are erased to free space. While artificial intelligence can process data millions of times faster than the human brain, it lacks biological intuition, emotional reasoning, and creative thought. The brain is designed for adaptive learning and real-world problem-solving, whereas AI excels in pattern recognition and repetitive computations. However, neuromorphic computing and brain-meter interfaces are attempting to bridge this gap, potentially expanding human intelligence beyond biological limit. AI models like ChatGPT can analyze vast amounts of text instantly, while a human takes hours to read and process the same information. AI is like a powerful calculator while the brain is a creative problem solver. Uh, Both excel in different ways. The brain, despite its incredible complexity, requires constant energy to function, consuming 20% of the body's total energy. Glucose and oxygen are essential for fueling neurons, and when depleted, mental fatigue sets in. The brain lacks the ability to store large energy reserves, meaning prolonged thinking can lead to exhaustion, reduce focus, and impaired decision-making. Sleep and proper nutrition are critical for resetting cognitive function. After hours of studying, students experience mental fatigue, making it harder to retain new information. The brain is like a high-performance car engine. It needs constant fuel and rest to avoid overheating. Neuroplasticity allows the brain to rewire itself, forming new connections in response to learning and experiences. This adaptability is crucial for skill development, recovery from injury, and memory formation. However, plasticity declines with age, and excessive stress or trauma can disrupt neural networks, leading to cognitive impairments. Stroke survivors can regain lost motor functions by retraining different parts of the brain to take over damaged functions. Neuroplasticity is like a city's road system. When one route is blocked, new pathways are built to maintain traffic flow. Despite the belief that multitasking improves productivity, the brain is designed to focus on one complex task at a time. The prefrontal cortex responsible for attention can only effectively process one thought-intense task. When switching between activities, the brain experiences cognitive lag, increasing errors, and reducing efficiency. Multitasking works only for automatic actions like walking and talking, but not for tasks requiring deep concentration. Thanks. (laughs) A driver texting while navigating a busy road is more likely to make mistakes as their brain struggles to divide attention. The brain is like a single core processor, forcing it to juggle multiple demanding tasks, slows down performance. Sleep plays a crucial role in memory consolidation, problem solving, and brain detoxification. During deep sleep, the brain clears metabolic waste through the glymphatic system, preventing cognitive decline. 
Sleep deprivation disrupts neurotransmitter balance, leading to poor concentration, mood swings, and reduced learning ability. Over time, chronic lack of sleep increases the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Students who pull all-nighters before exams retain less information than those who get a full night's sleep. Sleep is like system maintenance for the brain. Without it, memory and performance degrade. As people age, the brain undergoes structural changes, including neuron loss, reduced neurotransmitter production, and slower synaptic firing. The prefrontal cortex and hippocampus responsible for memory and reasoning shrink over time. However, lifelong learning and mental stimulation can slow cognitive decline by strengthening neural pathways. Certain activities like problem solving and social engagement help maintain brain health. Elderly individuals may take longer to recall names and details, but they often have deep knowledge and wisdom accumulated over decades. Um, an aging brain is like a well-used library. It holds vast knowledge but finding specific books takes longer. Advances in brain-computer interfaces, neurostimulation, and cognitive-enhancing drugs aim to push the limits of human intelligence. Technologies like transcranial magnetic stimulation, EMS, and nootropic compounds may improve memory, focus, and learning speed. Researchers are also exploring genetic modifications and neural implants to enhance cognition. However, ethical concerns and unknown long-term effects remain major obstacles. Experiments with brain stimulation have shown improved problem-solving abilities in subjects performing complex tasks. Enhancing brain power is like overclocking a computer processor. Um, it boosts performance but risks overheating if pushed too far. 